Okay, so we are right after the French premiere of Captain Underpants and we are very, very pleased to welcome Dave Soren, director of uh, the movie, and Nate Rugg, production designer of Captain Underpants. Dave and Nate, welcome on the ANSI Festival. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So, David, you were storyboarder on The Road to El Dorado, yeah. uh, Chicken Run and Shrek, head of story on Shark Tale and director on Turbo. How come this is your first time in a, such an important event for the world animation community? This is a great question. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the first time that I was invited and that uh, I think the movies coincided with the, with the, with the festival and uh, I don't know, I'm just happy to be here. It's phenomenal. It's really, okay. honestly, so, people so, say great things about it. It's way better even in person being here. Thanks a lot. Uh, Nate, same question. Yeah. Uh, you worked as an artist on uh, Ratatouille, mm -hmm. on uh, The Crude, or Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Uh, tell us, how are you proud, uh, happy, thrilled to be here this yeah, year? Yeah, I'm uh, sort of the same thing. I, I haven't had a chance to, to make my way here to Annecy yet. I've had so many friends and, and people I've worked with who have been here and have always glowed about it, and it's, it's an amazing place. I, I, I feel like I've missed out from not coming here before, so <laughs> I, I'm yeah. definitely going to have to keep coming back uh, year after year. It's, it's fantastic. Okay, we're going to feedback that so that you get invited every year from now. Yeah, that sounds Promise. good. Truth is, we, had a, we have a, a criminal record. Yeah. And, <laughs> oh, oh, that's... You know, it okay. took a while for it to get <laughs> lifted and... No clearance. Yeah, we're <laughs> legal to be here now, mostly. <laughs> C Captain and the Pants was translated in more than 20 languages uh, and over 80 million copies sold around the world. Uh, this is the reason you're with us today. How was the projection and how do you feel about the ANSI audience reactions? Uh, I mean, the, the books have been, obviously, like you said, they're, they're, they have a huge history. They've been around for 20 years. It was really a great privilege to, you know, to adapt them, to bring them to the big screen. Uh, I think we, we loved the experience of making this movie. It was just a total blast, uh, both because we love the books, we're both fans of the books, yeah. but also because it was just a chance to make a cartoon. You know, So many features these days are, are going more naturalistic and realistic, and it was so nice to be able to run full speed the other direction and kind of go back to the things that I grew up with and loved about animation, and, uh, you know, and, to, and to be able to use 2D animation, hand-drawn stuff, and, Sock puppets Sock and puppets all these kind of unconventional out. things to, to bring this movie to life. Yeah, so, in a lot of ways it felt like we were George and Harold, the whole crew was George yeah. and Harold in the treehouse yeah. making the movie up there. Yeah. And when you get to come to work laughing every day with the team, yeah. it's just such a blast. It's the best. So that was a positive and uh, artistic uh, regression uh, <laughs> yeah. as yeah. much yes, in the, exactly. yeah. the yes. dialogues as much in the techniques. Yeah, yeah. No, there were times when Occasionally we'd see something uh, and it was sort of trying too hard to be cool or be like a Marvel superhero movie or something and uh, I, would, I would say, whoa, this is not a cool movie, this, this is a funny movie, this is a silly movie, we gotta, let's bring it down to like fourth grader level here, these are two fourth grade kids that have, yeah. have created this superhero. <laughs> That's, that's a good message for the whole world, we should regress a little more and yeah, more often. A little bit, yeah. a little bit. Uh, Captain and the Pants is like a fable on the difficulty of being an artist mm -hmm. and uh, especially in a standardized and uh, regulated world. Mm -hmm. Is that something both of you uh, experienced in your own lives? Yeah, well I, I was very lucky. I mean I grew up in a, in a household with parents who very much supported the arts and supported my interests and, and, uh, and dreams. Um, but I also can very much relate to, uh, you know, the, the culture, especially in America, of, of cutting costs in schools and, and getting rid of arts programs and music programs, and, uh, and obviously that's a horrible thing, and it's, it's nice to be able to have a movie that, that the message is, is that it encourages creativity, it fosters creativity, it's about two best friends who have a creative friendship, and uh, that was really just a, you know, a great, great thing at the core of the movie that I was able to... Uh, bring to life and I, I don't know that just for me like was the thing I'm most happy about yeah and I think I think for all of us on the film you know we were you know we all come from a creative upbringing you know wanting to draw and uh, and and it's exciting now because you know I can remember as a kid you know 
being inspired by drawing, wanting to draw until I couldn't even keep my eyes open anymore at night. And then now my daughter, who's just now almost five, she's seen the movies and now she's like this comic book expert and only wants to draw comic books. She never even knew about comics before this movie. And to see you know, that type of thing sort of happen with her now and to get to see it with other kids. I mean, all the stories I'm hearing of kids that are picking up a pencil and drawing comics when they never did before, it's, it's like the movie is is putting the more creativity out there, yeah. which is great. Yeah, this is it. We, you just blew my question. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nice job, <laughs> I wanted to say that uh, the, the movie is an ode to freedom and laughter. Yeah. You, you said it in the movie. Uh, it's all about jokes and inventions, uh, work in progress mm -hmm. and creations. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a great message for the soon-to-be animated young generation of the animation industry. Yeah. Uh, are you here, and I'm quoting, to save the unborn from a life of boredom? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we do what we can. I mean, one of the great privileges of getting to make animated movies for families and for kids is that, you know, they grow up with this stuff. That it's very meaningful to them, and, you know, you'll have kids that are eight years old now. When, when they're 28, they'll remember this movie, and it'll be part of their DNA. So that's a, that's a great privilege. Um, and, yeah, you know, I, I grew up with... Uh, the closest friends of mine that I've had over the years from the time I was a kid till now have been creative relationships, you know, the great creative friendships. And I love that we have a movie with, you know, these two buddies who make comics, make each other laugh and, you know, try to try to do right by, yeah. <laughs> by their school and, and each other. Watching the movie, we really can feel that uh, both of you and uh, maybe the rest of the teams had a uh, a lot of work indeed, but also a huge load of laughter and fun. Uh, is that your best prank so far? <laughs> <laughs> Getting to actually have fun and get paid at the same time. <laughs> it's the ultimate prank. <laughs> Don't tell anybody that we had fun. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> All right. uh, if you had to describe uh, the ANSI Festival with a, just a bunch of words, you know, which one would you pick? Mm. Overwhelming. Uh, yeah, I would say an overwhelming source of inspiration would yeah. probably be a good combo because like everywhere you yeah. look, it's either yeah, it art, art that's up on the wall or it's projected on a giant screen filled with people watching it in the, in, on the lawn out there or there's lines of people that are excited about whatever the next project is or the next short or film. And this is too many. He's too many words, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's good. Words. Sorry, two words. Yeah, that's it. No, really, it's inspiring from the, the people that are all around, the, the professionals, the just international crowd, the, and the landscape, you know, all around. Uh, honestly, it's... Just behind you. Yeah, there it is. Right, look at that. <laughs> I'm inspired. Okay, we are almost done. I, I would have loved to ask you to get uh, underpainted uh, for the, the, the last question. But we are, we are. We my are my question will be a, a bit different. Can we finish the interview in laughter? Is that possible? <laughs> sure, I mean, I think right. we've been laughing already. We can do it. Well, great. Thanks a lot, David and Nate. That was a great pleasure having you, and uh, see you next year, I guess. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank it. You.